on the next episode of Hot Mom. Is my, oh my God, is my wig even on? Right? Y'all talk! I've been on calls. <laughs> oh man, they didn't notice. They don't know about wigs. Some people don't know nothing about wigs. Hey girl, start of a weekly vlog. It's Tuesday. It's a Tuesday? No, it is Wednesday. Oh sweet, thank goodness it's Wednesday. If you're new here, my name is Glam Larry, Larry, Lawrence, Lawrence, whatever you want to call me. Um, and you're watching a hot mom vlog where I try to be a hot mom, not giving hot mom, not giving it at all. You comment, like, and subscribe, because it's free, and it's just nice to do that, so you should subscribe. Just support me, okay? You support me ain't gonna take nothing away from you, all right? It's not. We can support each other, girl. We can support each other. Just let me know what I need to support you with, and I will, okay? Just let me know. I just wanted to hop on here and get the vlog started, because I was like, why not? Work has been working. Work has been working me. I have been working. Um, I am tired. I didn't really get much sleep. Uh, my daughter, I gave her rice in her cereal, in her milk bottle, whatever it is, and she still woke up two, three times to eat, and then she spit it up. She's just in the habit of eating, bruh. And then my son, he got up like so many times to come in our bed, and I'm a light sleeper. I'm one of the girls who like, once I'm up, I'm up. It could be 2 a.m. I'm up. Like, and then I got a late start because I was tired and I didn't really get the work that I wanted. I just, blah, 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 blah. it's just been, it's been a day. And it's already one o'clock. It's just crazy. But I want to hop on here and start the vlog. We got some things we're doing this week. I'm going to take my mom out to lunch. I'm going to get some stuff from to decorate. Uh, I want to hang out with my friend today working like a hebrew slave and tomorrow probably going to work that'll be fun i hope you guys are having a really good start to this week you know hope hope it's a vibe oh yeah y'all and i posted a video about how i healed my brows because i did diy henna and i got the worst allergic reaction and it was so itchy it was terrible it was terrible it was awful yeah girl i'm gonna hop off because i gotta reread emails I mean, I got, look, I got emails to do and all this stuff. I look a hot mess. It don't even matter. That's what kind of work day it is. It don't even matter. Hey, y'all. It's Friday. Um, we're about to leave. We're about to go on, like, a date with my mom and the kids. We're going to go back to Habibi Grill because it's so good. Um, hopefully my son eats the food. But this is what I'm wearing. Let me adjust myself. So, oh my gosh, see y'all, I just be throwing stuff places, sorry. So I'm wearing this legging set I got from Target and the bra, and I'm wearing my Zara jacket. So lighting's kind of bad, but whatever. Uh, that's what we're wearing. So we're gonna go ahead and go eat, and I think we're going out with our friend tonight too. So like, 
It's gonna be a whole fun day, y'all. Pray for me being with these two kids. With my mama, these three kids. <laughs> lunch I've ever had it was the most stressful lunch I've ever had like as soon as soon as I was like somewhat satisfied not even full just somewhat satisfied I was like okay are we ready to go like are we ready, are we ready to cut this and call a night this whole like this whole Friday has been stressful I had a conversation with my boss not even my boss my boss's boss so like up there you know what i'm saying i had a conversation with her about some of my feelings um and it took a lot of courage to have that conversation with her i was scared i actually like almost got like emotional i was like kind of like i had i held it together for the most part but i kind of like my voice was cracking a little bit because it was like a conversation and a question that could have like it could have gone really well or gone really bad. I'm an honest person and in corporate America, honesty is not appreciated. <laughs> it's not. I would say a lot of times honesty is not appreciated until like shit hits the fan. Really, really. I mean, like I've been in so many situations where people don't want to hear what I have to say, but then when shit's about to hear the fan, now they're like, I want to know the truth. And I'm like, well, what's the point now? It's too late. It's like an afterthought. It's like afterwards, they're like, oh yeah, we should have done that. Or, oh yeah, we should have been like that. Oh yeah, we should have treated this person this way. But in the thick of it, it's like, oh, I don't want to hear that. I want you to like, you know, make me feel good or whatever. Um, I want you to lie to me. I want you to make me feel good. I want my perception to be this way. I don't want to hear what's actually going on. I don't want to know what people, how people actually feel. I just want you to pretend and validate what I want you to validate or how I want you to feel. I had that conversation. Oh, these pants. Girl, hold on. I gotta pee. Hold please. Oh my gosh, my daughter's crying. You gotta be kidding me. I have to get ready. But bruh, Aunt Flo is here. What? Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. I had no idea. I had no idea she was gonna come. I had no idea she was gonna come today. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's like, that, I'll tell you that. That is the nice thing about being pregnant. That's the nice thing about being breastfeeding. You don't have your flow. And living, living a flow-free life is, is carefree, it's beautiful, it's wonderful. Yeah, I just, just lunch was just stressful. I, it was just stressful. Like, my mom, I don't know, my mom and my son be going at it. And my son like provokes her, like he knows how to provoke her and she falls for it every time. And so it just stresses me out. I don't know, like my mom be trying to help him cause she's a grandma, but my son is really independent and he don't want you helping him even if he needs help. And it's just like, I just be like, leave him alone. So he doesn't keep screaming and like yelling and you just leave him alone and he'll ask you for help. But she's a grandma and she wants to help him. And it's just, ooh wee girl. I just, I literally just ate and was like, let's go. Let's just get out of here. I'm about to go get dinner with a friend. It's not like a light dinner. Cause I'm like, I can eat, I'm kind of hungry, but I'm not, um, I'm not starving. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I probably gotta go feed. I was a little girlfriend because I just heard her cry and she wants to get up. I'm just gonna do like a really quick beat on my face. Nothing too crazy. I'm probably gonna like re-wand curl my hair. I just put some wand curls on my hair. It doesn't look really, I don't know. It looks kind of, I don't know. It look a little crazy right now. But put some jeans on, put a white shirt on and call it a day. Call it a day, girl. Call it a day. 
just call it a day, call it a night, call it an evening. I'm gonna keep drinking this little drink because I needed it because today was, it's so ghetto because it's Friday. Like why is Friday like this? Girl, I'm gonna take care of these kids and then I'm gonna get ready and then we'll hop back on. I wish, I don't know, I, and I kind of feel guilty. I don't feel guilty, I kind of feel lame. I don't know what I feel because I didn't really film anything this week because I wasn't really doing anything. I was working. That's it, I was working, I didn't really do much. And I don't know, it's just tough because I'm trying to grow, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, every time you look at stuff, people are like, you need to post every day, post four to five days a week. And I'm just like, I work a real job where I have to really, really think. I got two kids, two small kids, a whole husband, a whole mama. I got a bunch of stuff going on and I barely get time for myself. And you mean to tell me that to grow, I gotta post four or five times a week, every day on TikTok, four times a week on YouTube, four times a week on Instagram. Like, I'm like, I don't have time for that. Like, I don't have time for that. I literally don't have the time. And it's just like frustrating because even when I try to get content, I have this idea. It's just like, it doesn't pan out that way. Like I was gonna do a mini vlog today. Today was a shit show disaster. Uh, the lunch wasn't terror. It was just like, it was, just, it's just frustrating. First world problems, right? Yeah, I need to chill. Okay, well girl, I'll be back. Maybe I'll get ready with y'all. Maybe I won't, let's hop on. I don't know. I don't know. Hey girl, I, <laughs> I'm i trying to put some pep in my step, okay? And I think she wants to go to this bar, but to be honest with you, with us getting there so late, I, I'm not going to the bar after, I'm just not. I just, I just, I'm just not. I don't know, I feel bad because my friends want to, it's so different. So like my mom friends, they want to be outside. You know, they want to be outside too. You know, they want to be outside with the girls and all that stuff. But you know, if you like, I really don't want to be outside anymore. They like, cool. Cause you know, low key, I ain't want to be outside no more either. So, you know, they're okay with like being, you know, outside for a little bit, like partially outside and then coming inside later. Like they're okay. Like, you know, they're, they're fine with that. But my single friends, they want to be outside. They want to be outside with the girls and the boys and the deer and the antelope play. Like they want to be outside. And so I feel, I don't know, I feel bad sometimes when they're like, let's do this, this, and this, and this. And I'm like, oh, I just want to do one, maybe partial of step two and not do step three, four, five, six. I don't know. I don't want to ruin the fun, but then it's like, I'm breastfeeding. Like, I'm breastfeeding. I just like bringing my pump. I don't want to like, like when you are full of milk and you are out and you don't have your baby with you, it's not fun. You just not having fun. You're literally just like, ooh, I zoomed in. Hey, this is a little bit better. I like this a little bit better. I'm gonna do this more often. Um. You're literally just like, get me out of here. Like, you're not having fun. Nobody's having fun. Like, nobody's having fun. So, <sighs> that was a whole rant. Hopefully these chapas, hopefully these chapas are good. Hopefully I get me a good little drink. And then I'm probably gonna go home. I ain't going for it, y'all, I ain't going for it, y'all. And then the bar that she wants to go to, like, it's a friend of, it's my husband's friend's bar. And it's a cool bar, it's a cool bar. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool bar, cool bar. Nice bar, don't get me wrong. The bar is not the problem for me. The bar, the problem for me is Le DJ. Le DJ be putting me to sleep. That DJ be putting me to sleep. He be playing 90s barbecue music and I be like, but dog, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to get lit. Like I'm trying to get turned. Like, what is this? Like, I just like every time I listen to him, like I be ready to go to bed. Like he playing Drake and you know, Drake, Drake, when you sleepy, he gonna, he gonna put you to bed. And so that's, um, yeah, that's what he gives. And so she wanted to do that tonight, but I'm, I'm sorry for it. I'm sorry for it. It's like 8.52, we not gonna eat till like 9.30. I'm gonna get full and I'm gonna get sleepy. I'm already sleep deprived, like in a safe way. I'm sleep deprived, I'm sleep deprived in a safe 
manner, okay? I'm mom sleep deprived. That's, that's different from being regularly sleep deprived. I'll show y'all what I wore. We're gonna go eat. Bye. We made it! And we found parking. We found parking relatively close, girl. I'm so excited for that. I love that for me. anything i've just been working all week i've just been working 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 and girl girl i did not get back on here and show y'all my outfit it was just a casual casual wow it was just a casual outfit it wasn't no no big thing i was gonna show y'all my outfit go out with my friend blah blah blah, blah. so my friend was running behind because of her hair hairdresser and then i was just like working on i was like okay well let me shoot this this like real you know short youtube short real quick in the middle of that my phone dies like are you kidding me my daughter decides she want to eat and i have milk in the fridge and i could have we could have given her a bottle but y'all i hate pumping i hate pumping i hate it so i was like i want to pump so I'm gonna let her feed off me, empty me out. So when I go out, I ain't gotta worry about getting too full and all that stuff. And I fed her and then as soon as I was done, my friend was like, hey, I'm ready to go. So I just went ahead and left because we were already running super behind. It was already late. I didn't know if the kitchen closed, you know, at that restaurant. Cause you know, sometimes kitchens close like, you know, an hour before or whatever. Food was bomb though. But I get back home, cause I'm like, I'm just gonna film my outfit when I get back home. It's not a big deal, I'll just do it later. I get in the house, my son wakes up, and, and girl, he had a fever. Had a fever pitch. He was just whining, falling apart. I was like, oh my goodness. So I had to go take care of my baby. I had to clean out the humidifier, cause he wasn't breathing. He wasn't breathing well. And I had a, we had to fix him all up and have him take his medicine and that was a whole thing. And so by the time I got done, then my daughter's crying because now she want to eat. And I'm just so confused because I'm like, you just had a bottle with rice like three hours ago. How are you hungry? I fed her. I look up. It's 1.30 in the morning. So was it 1 30 i don't know it was late and i was tired and i said you know what i'm just going to bed okay just i'm just gonna call today like like yesterday was just yesterday it was just it was stressful I, i'm glad i went out with my friend because it that was that was that that helped me decompress you know i'm glad i was able to hang out with angelica because it helped me decompress but a girl girl motherhood sometimes be like what is happening it just it's just like but today's gonna be different okay it's gonna be different today i'm making a target run because duh and we gotta get some stuff for the house my husband maybe make a list i'm only 
I'm only buying those things on that list. He doesn't believe me. I believe in me. I kind of, you know. But I mean, if I see a deal, it, okay, never mind. Golly, everybody named Mama is here at Target. For why and for how come? Oh my goodness, I ain't doing this. This is, this is crazy, this is crazy, girl. All right, well, I'll see y'all on Target. wearing my glasses because <sighs> I ran out of contact oh I didn't hop on yet yeah it's like 8 54 it's much later um we're gonna go on a quick little dinner date because mom's gonna watch the kids love that for us I'm trying to go out as much as I can right now because once my mama leaves it's gonna be a little rough it's gonna be a little tough but I didn't do my makeup with you guys because like you've seen that before and it's the same makeup I did yesterday uh but I'm gonna film a get not to get rid of me I'm gonna film like me getting dressed and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm wearing but I was watching the Monique interview with Shannon Sharp need to watch that so that is what I'm doing this I hope my outfit turns out cute um I really don't know because in my head it sounds cute but I don't know but We'll see. Ooh, and like while I'm filming this, I'm gonna um, show you guys too what I'm gonna wear. Okay, and then we're just doing this top. I got this top from a shop in Vegas. It's got a Debo on it. <laughs> um, but I just tucked it underneath my bra. I think I'm gonna do these heels. I know they've got leopard print in them, but unless you're like really up on me, you can't tell. Plus there's like brown in here. So like it goes, you know? So we're gonna do these. And then I'm just gonna use black Henry Bendel bag. And that's the look. This is what we're giving. This is what we're doing. Kind of chill, kind of upscale, kind of not. So yeah, y'all, let's go. Let's go eat. I'm not even really hungry. These lashes are, I think they're Diamond Starling from GlamGoods.com. I really like them. So yeah, let's go. to go to a Super Bowl party. We're going to my sister's house for a little bit. Yeah, we didn't even like, we didn't have plans for real for real, but my sister hit me up and said she's having people over. And so we're like, okay, we'll come over. Um, my son happened to take a nap. So we were like, hey, we gonna come over. But yeah. But last night, I, <laughs> my husband was like, he wasn't getting on me, but he was just like, you look so nice. Like, I don't want to take you. We went to Thurman's and they had really good food. But Thurman's is like a hole in the wall. But he was just like, I don't want to take you there because you look so nice and you in these heels and this leather skirt. And I'm just like, bruh, I'm going outside. So I'm going to dress up because I'm going outside. Like, you know, and I can wear this outfit again. Like, I got laundry. I got I got a washer and dryer. I can wear this outfit again. <laughs> so, but he kept saying that, but I don't know. I was a little overdressed, but I didn't care. I felt good. I felt good. I felt nice. I felt I felt good. Yeah, girl, just that's why I tell people like make sure your outfit is like appropriate for whatever you're about to do. Like, make sure you're not offending anybody. But yeah, wear whatever you want to wear. It makes you feel good, it's comfortable, it's appropriate for the event, wear it. Like, 
Don't be like, oh, I can't dress up because I'm going to Applebee's. Girl, if you want to dress up for Applebee's, go dress up for Applebee's. <laughs> Who cares? So that's what I say. But yeah, we're about to do that. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog over there. I'm gonna bring my camera, but you know, I don't like vlogging in people's spaces unless, now if someone's like, where's the vlog? Then I'll take my camera out. But you know, if they don't say anything, I'm really not gonna ask. And plus, I don't vlog every moment of my life. Like y'all probably see like, mm, y'all probably see like 10% of my life. I don't vlog every moment of my life. I just don't. Gotta live in the moment. That's what I believe in. Gotta live in the moment. You can't record everything. You gotta experience some things and have some memories and stuff. But yeah, that's really all I got. This vlog was super short, but that's totally fine. Every vlog ain't gonna be super duper long. Oh yeah, I placed a bet, very last minute. My husband is bets and he does really well. I don't bet, but I placed a bet. So hopefully it hits, hopefully. Hopefully I win millions. No, I didn't bet enough to win millions. I might win like $75. <laughs> oh, but yeah, girl, I'm gonna um, hop off here. Well, I'm gonna show y'all my outfit. It's a really chill outfit. I'm gonna show y'all my outfit and then we gonna go. So hold please. Okay, so we are ready to go. I just did my hair like this real quick. Um, I'm gonna wear these vape, these black vapor maxes. I'm wearing these army fatigue pants. I'm wearing this bra top that I got from Target. This is my Zara jacket. And then I'm wearing my Henry Bindle bag. Really comfy outfit. Easy access to the food source, if you get what I'm saying. So yeah. But we're gonna go ahead and this party. Back. Girl. Girl, we weren't even at my sister's house very long. My kids were cool at first, but then my daughter was like, I'm sleepy. Shocking, cause she didn't take a nap. So why would she be sleepy? But she was hooping and hollering, screaming, was not about to calm down. My son, he realized that we were not within two feet of him and he just lost his mind. Just, just was like, get me out of this place. My parents are not within arm's length distance of me. Get me out of here. It was just a whole thing. I really shouldn't have brought my kids. I should have left them at home with my mama. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, how you supposed to have fun at a Super Bowl party while you breastfeeding and while you got a toddler? You know, I love my kids. They lit, they dope, they everything. But you know, I just, I shouldn't have done that. Should have made a better decision. But yeah, girl, hope you have a great week. Hope you have a blessed week. Hope you be nailing it, doing the thing, zipping and doing it, being great, being greatness, having that greatness shine upon you. But have a blessed week, boo. I'll see you later, girl. Keep alive. Keep alive. But you gotta be smart, pal.